Good morning. It's July 4th, Independence Day, the day we celebrate the idea of America, the birth of our nation. From the days of the pilgrims, godly men and women have believed that God the Almighty was involved in the birth of our nation. They also felt that if a nation chose to partner with and honor God, it would uh, experience His favor and blessing in an extraordinary way. But America has drifted far from her birth. In 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Pastor Jim Simbola in wrote in Fresh Wind, Fresh Fire, what does it say about our churches today that God birthed the church in a prayer meeting? And prayer meetings are almost extinct today. We have lost precious territory because too many have stopped praying. Many have lost their peace, their hope, their joy, their purpose, even their closeness to God. And I believe our country has lost its way. America has lost her purpose, but God has been calling people to prayer again. We've been praying in our church, Community Haven. The same small group has been praying for a move of God for this generation for a long time now. And recently, prayer meetings at Community Haven have been different. There's been a new release of God's presence. We feel it. We know it. He is speaking more clearly. He is releasing His glory, and it looks like favor. It looks like open doors, and it looks like His church receiving fresh glory as we gather in His presence. It looks like the lost hearing the gospel. It looks like mountains being moved. It looks like the glory of God is being released as we exalt His holy name. And so on this day of freedom, let me quote or read from John 8, 31-32. Jesus said to those Jews who believed Him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are being exalted in your church. Lord, we are coming out of every hidden place and into the fullness of your presence. Every setback, every sifting, every wound, every failure, every broken place, every shifting, Everything we have been through, Lord, we are now coming into your glory. Every promise we thought was lost, we are receiving again. We are receiving a new revelation and a new wave of your awesome presence among your people. Let your presence rest upon us as we rest and sleep and work and go about our daily routines. And as we gather together in your name, let us see and hear and know your presence, Lord. Father, bring healing to our land. Let the name of Jesus be heard uh, once again fully in the halls of go government, in, in our schools, across our land. Lord, we are praying. We are seeking your face. Hear us, Lord. Hear from heaven. Forgive our sin and heal our land. Let your awesome presence drive back this present darkness. Heal our land, Lord. In the name of the one who came to destroy the works of the devil, Jesus Christ, amen.